Hi! Did you know there's a rose in the Lots of Lavender stamp set? Well, there is! And I'm going to use it along with the Color Me Happy Project Kit to demonstrate my simple and delicate rose card. Welcome! I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 17 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. Well, the Color Me Happy Project Kit is one of the new celebration choices for 2018. So I also paired it with the Heartfelt Bloom stamp set and Party Pandas, and I'll show you those cards at the end. Here's a closer view of the Celebration Lots of Lavender stamp set. Now the lavender has gotten a lot of attention for good reason, but look at that sweet and delicate rose. We'll be using this today along with the Color Me Happy Project Kit. Why? Well, because on March 15th, Stampin' Up! added 14 Celebration gift with purchase items, and one of them is the Color Me Happy Project Kit. And so you get the supplies to make for each of the four cards, so 16 cards. This is a $25 value that you can get for free with a $50 product order by March 31st, 2018, if supplies last, as well as sale of, uh, the Celebration Lots of Lavender, same thing, free with a $50 product purchase. And there's no limit to how many you can earn. So as I show you more of the celebration items for every 50, for the ones I'm showing you, you can get for free. <laughs> All right. So um, here's one of the cards from the Color Me Happy Project Kit. I did the other ones. I used these up. I need lots of thank you cards. But see, you get all the supplies uh, to make the cards. And and so I stayed with the supplies for each card. Just a challenge that I gave myself. So to stay with the supplies for each card and use with a celebration um, stamp set. So I'm going to use the supplies. Here we go for my Lots of Lavender, my delicate rose card. So you won't need measurements because all the supplies are included. So here we go. I decided to emboss because of the gold with here. Uh, this little gold medallion. I thought, okay, I'm going to emboss. So before we do any embossing, we run the embossing buddy over the cardstock. And this helps so that the embossing powder sticks to what's wet, the ink, and not the oil from our fingers. All right, so there we go. We're all prepped to stamp. And I'm also going to use this Sending Heartfelt Thanks. Well, look at that font. Mm-mm-mm. This is from another celebration stamp set, the Heartfelt Blooms. Oh boy, beautiful, beautiful font. Again, free with a $50 purchase. Okay, so most of the time when I emboss, I use the Versamark pad. And uh, it's a pigment ink. It stays wet for a good while, so it makes it really easy to emboss. But I needed my placement to be just where I want it. So I thought, okay, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and use my gold Encore pad. Stampin' Up! had this. And, uh, and they discontinued, but I kept it. This is something you can pick up in just about any craft store. And if you don't have one, you know, I'll have a link to where you can just see it on Amazon. Easy to do. So we're going to start with this. And I'll put this right in the center. There we go. Isn't that really pretty and gold? And now for mm, Delicate Rose. going to go here. Very, very nice. And let's do one on the bottom too. There we go. Fantastic. So now we'll emboss. And I'm going to use well, the gold Stampin' Emboss Powder. I'm wanting this in gold. <laughs> and here we go. So I just have a paper plate to uh, catch the embossing powder and I'll also use it to funnel it back in. So we just sprinkle that on. Make sure it goes over the whole stamped image. Tap off the excess. Fantastic. And now to emboss it. And to do that you use a heat tool. And it's a very intense heat that doesn't blow air like your hair dryer. So it's not going to blow the embossing powder off. And it'll melt it down. And and once it starts melting, it'll go from this powdery 
So beautiful shiny. Keep your fingers out of the way. It's a very intense heat, but there you go. Isn't that pretty? Uh-uh-ha. You know, I forgot to tell you something. That Color Me uh, Happy Project Kit coordinates with the Color Me Happy stamp set. So you absolutely could pick up the coordinating stamp set, and here it is, to use with this kit. I just thought, well, it'll be fun to use with other things. Like I said, I chose celebration ones, but there you go. All right, so we've got that stamp. So now we've got all these other stamps for the fill. So you could watercolor, but you don't have to because we've got these little stamps that are going to fill in the flowers. And so one of the colors is Pink Pirouette. So I'm going to use Pink Pirouette. We're going to push, flip, lock that lid into place, and then our rose. So let's go ahead and ink this up. And then for our placement, um, that's looking pretty good. There we go. You know, I want it a little bit deeper, and being a photopolymer, it makes it easy, so we're just going to stamp it twice. Okay. Well, you don't know how badly I want to just stick my head right into the camera. So let's, while we have that one in our hand, let's go ahead and do it again. There we go. A little rotation. There. Nice and deep. Isn't that pretty? So, look at this. There have little buds. And so we can just fill those in too with our stamp. And these I'll only do once. And while we have it in our hand, let's rotate, fill these in. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Isn't this just so pretty? Mm. Pink roses are my favorite. All right, so we're done. So let's pull on it, flip, and click. And then I want another soft green, so I chose Pear Pizzazz from the Subtles. Push, flip, lock it into place. So, you know, Stampin' Up! hasn't officially said, but boy, I'm really expecting a color refresh this year of the core colors. You know, the Subtles, the Neutrals, the Regals, and the Brights. Because they said every three to five years, and it's been five years. So it makes me wonder, is Pear Pizzazz on the chopping block? Um... You know, and then even Pink Pirouette. I have a theory, though. There we go. There are two for this, which is really fantastic. One for one side, one for the other. So this one should fit here. There we go. Look, fill that all in so quickly. I have a theory. Could be wrong, of course. Uh, but if it's a Stampin' Blends color, I'm thinking it might not be retiring. Because the Stampin' Blends haven't been out but about six months. We'll go with that. <laughs> so that's what we'll find out. And I'm thinking April 10th is when we'll know for sure. Again, Stampin' Up! hasn't made a formal announcement of when they're releasing the retiring list. But that'll be just about right. All right, so there we go. We filled that in quick and easy. So my recommendation is for any of your favorite core colors, because we just really don't know what's going to happen, Go ahead and order. Get your ink refills, your cardstock, and the pads if you don't have them. All right, so I've got snail adhesive. And put our finger where those ridges are. And there we go. About an inch in each corner is good. This little gold starburst. Fantastic. And it's like I said, I, I thought about using all kinds of different items with this. But I thought, nope, nope, nope. The challenge is to use not just what comes in the kit, but what came in the kit for each of the card bases as they had the cards designed. Of course, you could do whatever you want, but there we go. So we're just going to push this up to the edge. Let this, and I, I don't want that even on purpose. I want a little bit less on the right side than underneath. Just like to look better. There we go and press everything down. Fantastic. And also in the kit we have Whisper White Baker's Twine. So let me show you. Here it is with the that wrapped around it and a little sweet bow ending on there. And of course the coordinating envelope. 
Isn't that fantastic? And so I've got others to show you. Remember I told you I, I did some of the others. So here's another one of the card bases. There we go. And so this is the Heartfelt Bloom stamp set that we just used the greeting. So I used the flowers and because the colors in here, this all came with a kit, the sequins. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That gold, that gold really was a finishing touch. And so I thought, okay, let me just stamp it in the pink pirouette on the white cardstock. And there we go. And oh, coordinating envelope. I just love a beautiful coordinating envelope. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if that's a little bit light. I like it, but what would it look like if I did the same thing in Rich Razzleberry? So there we go. The sequins and Rich Razzleberry. <laughs> and then there was one more card base uh, with the Knight of Navy. And I used the Party Pandas. Isn't this adorable? Here's the Party Pandas stamp set. Another one of the free with $50 product purchases, but only through March 31st, 2018. And so again, I used only the supplies for that card in the kit. You have fun, do whatever you want. But a little bit of watercoloring and uh, some confetti. And the confetti stamp included in the stamp set. <laughs> All right, and the sequence and another coordinating envelope. So lots and lots of fun playing around with the Color Me Happy Project Kit. Of course you could stamp it as it came designed with the kit, or you can see how easy it is. You can mix it with other stamp sets like the celebration. So, um, so make sure you get over to my online store by March 31st, 2018, because the celebration promotion, it's almost over. And getting free gifts with your purchase is lots of fun. And there's no limit to how many you can earn. So get on over before March 31st or by March 31st, 2018 to my online store. If you'd like to make my simple and delicate rose card with a lots of lavender stamp set, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. But you better hurry because Celebration 2018 is almost over. You only have through March 31st, 2018 to earn free Celebration gifts with your orders. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.